Welcome to tech updates for the side deck for the month of December 2019. So this video is going to be as relevant as cake right now because, well, you know, the last chunk of YCS's is over for the year. We got about two weeks of regionals left and then you've got what we like to call the Christmas break until we get our January 2020 ban list. But these are five tech choices for the remainder of the month that we've seen. So you can enjoy this video and the fun, fantastic things that players are teching right now. Let's do this, shall we? Number one is my boy, Skullmeister. So this actually caught me off guard coming out of the last YCS here. We didn't see this in Pasadena at all. And if it was there, um, I didn't hear anything about players siding or maining Skullmeister. And actually, I think most of what I saw for Skullmeister was it was in the main deck over the side. But we're using this to negate those pesky Orcus effects. You know, the, the special summoning, the, the the junk like that and I'm not a super big fan of it so when it when a card effect is activated in your opponent's graveyard quick effect you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to negate that effect hmm well that's pretty good you get to stop a counter effect with a counter effect and you get a 1700 body level 4 to be able to interact with that now my question is we've reach that point that Orcust is borderlining 0.5 tier. It's not tier zero, but it's better than tier one at this point. Um, we've seen this. So now that we've basically identified that Orcust is the best deck, we now go into this part of the format where we start countering that chunk of the metagame, and we start really ramping up to focus towards that, because you basically can assume at this point that you're going to go around all day and you're going to play nothing but Orcus, Orcus, and Orcus. So seeing things like Skullmeister showing up in the side decks to counteract additional Orca strategies doesn't surprise me, and it shouldn't surprise any of you, um, especially with the development of the Orcus metagame at this point. So real shocker, right guys, that uh, we've gone even further down the rabbit hole and brought in a whole nother option of side just to counter this. Now, number two here, is Crackdown. And I've talked about Crackdown a couple of times in some videos, and I've said, hey, like, this card, it, it's showing its head here. And I wanted to once again revisit this and bring this up because we've seen both Crackdown in the main and the side. Now, Crackdown is that fantastic card that you steal your opponent's monster. And when you steal your opponent's monster, you get a couple of options to do with it. First one, pop it with Dragonic Diagram get off a free search. All right, cool. You can exceed with it. You take your, the, the popular thing, this format with both mind control and crackdown is you take your opponent's Galtea and then you just slap a Dingrisu right on top of it. And then you just spot removal, whatever your opponents put on the field for you. Right? That's great. And then as the South African uh, duelist taught us with mind control, you can just take your opponent's level seven monster and then just slap together a Black Luster Soldier and just watch your opponent go, how do I out that? Like, what am I supposed to do here? So, Crackdown and Mind Control have both evolved the metagame just because of the things that we can now do with our opponent's monsters. Now, imagine if Gladiator Beast were more viable and the amount of Geysaruses that you'd be seeing in the extra deck for tech ability. It's actually really cool right now what we've seen these cards that are stealing these opponents monsters this format mm -hmm. I, I i knew crackdown was going to be a very good card um i just didn't think that we would be playing crackdown on the level that we are playing crackdown at the moment does that make sense um it's really interactive in today's format but it it does kind of slip underneath the radar um, but very good tech choice nonetheless for the side. The side you can only do so much with this format because you know which good cards are. Next up we have Mystic Mine. Okay, so we literally went, what is it, half of this format with only mentioning Mystic Mine like twice. We started the format off, we were like, alright, cool. 
Mystic Mind Sky Strikers, it's, it, it, it can work, all right? Then we started to kind of fade out a little bit, and then we saw that Altergeist um, was pulling a page out of people's book, and they were looking to Mystic Mind to slow down the game state. Now, I've also seen a blind going second list for uh, Performa Power, excuse me, for Fluffles and Fright Fur um, that was playing it. I've seen the Subterra list playing Mystic Mind. I, I've seen a lot, there's, there's just a lot of Mystic Mind to be had and to be seen in this format. So the, the point of this here is to say, while Mystic Mind went to the back of the room and didn't save very much for a format, we kind of reached this point in the format where it just activating a Mystic Mind against Orcust literally slows them down or forces a negate on an Orcus Crescendo. Um, and it it's very interesting to see it. Um, obviously, you know, the card against Safe Fort Thunder is a, a pretty big blowout at times. But to see Mystic Mine be used in the way that we're using it to allow going second decks the chance to play around a giant board like Safe Fort Thunder, for example, it opens up a lot of interesting discussion points going forward. So Mystic Mine is that card that we all hate. Trust me, I'm not a real big fan of it myself, but alas, it does allow more diversity in the format. So there's that. Now next up, back on our Orcus Tate here is the System Down Arena. Now once again, everybody was like, oh, we're not going to go to System Down anymore. We're going to cut it. And then uh, all of a sudden, this love for System Down came back in really full numbers out of the last YCS. I saw a lot of System Down. I, honestly, I think out of the, the few lists I was looking at in Carl Antro store, the YCS and Regionals, um, there was a lot of System Down. Now, System Down is it's here for the multi-purposing aspect. So, first matchup, obviously, is Orcus. You banish everything out of your opponent's graveyard. Or you get a free negate off of Crescendo to allow you to play your other five cards if you're going second. That's very good. I like that. Now, that being said though, you multi-purpose the Cyber Dragon matchup because you get free nuke on their field. It's pretty good, right? And then you also can multi-purpose it for the Sky Striker matchup. I don't recommend multi-purposing it for that matchup, but you can banish your opponent's graveyard. I mean, people people like when a card can hit three matchups in a row, and you're able to cover the best of bases. But your best optimal matchup, obviously, Cyber Dragons. Like, as long as your opponent doesn't put an Infinity on the board, and you try to shotgun the system down, you know... It, it is what it is. Uh, you deserve to be punished if you make such bad plays, but this card is meant to handle the machine matchup, and I think that the card does it quite well uh, for these matchups. So, yes, don't be surprised going forward if there is some sort of crazy metagame shakeup uh, where System Down just disappears from the side deck. <laughs> Kill Orcus. So, there's that. And then the last one here is Summon Limit. Now, with the whole Griffin combo going around where you could revive the Summon Limit and then just look at your opponent and go, hee hee, ha ha, you know, what are you going to do, my guy? Like, you're not going to out this. Um, Summon Limit has been a very good floodgate. I've seen Ultra Guys playing it. I've seen Subterra playing it. I've seen the cheesy Griffin combo spit it out at the end of the combo. It is very good for what it does. Um, two summons is a bit harsh for the reality of the situation, but it is a trap card. It does have to be played. It doesn't get any turn one value whatsoever. Um, going forward, um, do be aware that this is a card in the format. Um, the amount of people that just don't play around summon limit is absolutely ludicrous. Uh, I've, I actually saw four detrimental summon limits. People are like, you play that? Like... What's going on here? Why summon limit? They're actually just like offended that they got summon limited, and they, they just don't understand how broken the card is. So yes, summon limit is seeing a lot more play right now, and it's actually kind of crazy interesting. Um, 
I don't know. Some of them, it, it, obviously, it, it is very good for what it does for the game. So kudos to the format for seeing more love for this. Outside of that, I mean, tech choices, they're pretty boring, this format. I'm not going to lie to you. But alas, that is your tech update for December 2019. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And well, I'm out, guys. Peace. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Card Fight Vanguard, Vancol40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.